Hey everybody, uh, in our last couple of videos we were working on the connector uh, and we had finished getting the kind of shell or the outside piece done with a rectangular piece. Uh, then we got the backside extruded so that the two squares were evenly spaced and this little edge right here was done. So today we're going to be working on getting these little rectangles in the top and looking in deep at all of the measurements here so we could figure out how to make these two little pinch points where the uh, connector will connect and disconnect when we when we pull it out of the passenger base. So we'll get started with our inventor and uh, this is where we've left off. So <clears> the <throat> first thing we need to do is we need to put a either here or here we need to put a rectangle in Let's see what was measured for us. Yeah, this was measured clearly here and here. So we'll use this side and we'll make sure that we remember 0.11 as our depth. So we're just going to make a little rectangle and extrude it in the depth of the rectangle, uh, the extrusion 0.11. The width of the rectangle this way or the depth of the rectangle this way is 0.06 and it starts 0.18 from this edge and then goes over 0.4 for the width of the of the rectangle. So we just got to figure that out. So we'll right click on the top surface where we want to start our drawing. Let's flip that around so it's the same orientation as the drawing that we're using. And let's draw with a rectangle and just kind of stick something on here. Now we know it's 0.4 this way. Let's just draw that on. Uh, what, would, what else do we know? We also know that, yeah, it's 0.4 that way. We also know it's 0.06 the other way. So push tab 0.06. Okay, so we've got it on the right size. Now we just got to get it in the right location. So. 0 0.04 from the, the front edge to the bottom and 0.18 from this edge to the left side. That's this side here to that side, 0.18. Okay, looks like we got it, and now we'll just extrude that in 0.11. So you got to get up close so that you get that go the opposite direction, 0.11. Well, that looks a little deep, doesn't it? Let's double check that and make sure we're not, yeah, see we're cutting all the way through. That's not correct. This measurement on here. Either that I'm reading it wrong, but it says 0.11 deep. That's that's too much. So we've got to kind of use our judgment here and make a uh, an educated guess at what we think this should be. That's way too big. So let's make it about half that size. Let's make it 0.05 and see what it looks like. That looks like a more manageable, more reasonable size, so we'll just stick with 0 0.05 on this instead of 0.11. Okay, so now we've got the one done. We can use the same method uh, that we used before on others. We can make sure that our work plane that we've already made is visible. <clears throat> Let me kind of move over. Can I move over? Yeah. Move over so you can see that the work plane right here is already the midpoint of our uh, drawing. So turn the visibility on, and then in 3D model we can use pattern. We can choose the feature of the rectangle that we just drew. We can click on mirror plane, choose the plane, and click OK. So that has to be done within 3D model because this is a 3D extrusion. Uh, there's pattern for both, and there's fillet for both. So you need to make sure which one you're using. Uh, the one that you're using is the correct one. 
So we did that, and now we're just going to change uh, the visibility for that and get it out of the way, and we'll move around to the back side. Now what we got to do is we got to start working on this point right here. So we'll go back to our drawing, <clears throat> and we'll zoom in. Let's see, how can we zoom in here? Get real close to it so that we can see the details clear. Okay, so we're working on the bottom one here. The, the distance from this line to that line right there is 0 0.04. The thickness of both of these is 0 0.03. And then the distance from there to there is, is 0 0.09. And then we have a width here of 0 0.53. A little bit of tricky work here to get this thing to look exactly like this one does. So let's see if we can figure it out. All right, so I'm going to right click on the surface and new sketch. I'm going to zoom in on where all those measurements are. And I know that the, the distance from this line to that line is slightly Let's check it. 0 0.04 is what it's supposed to be. Let's check that and make sure it's right. So basically all we got to do is constrain that. Check that to that. 0.15. Now when we, when we try to change that, it gives us an error message and says we can't do it because we're so deep into this program we have the extrusions already made and things. That's going to really mess us up if we change that. So, again, I think the directions that we were given are conflicting with each other. I think we're going to have to live with 0.15 instead of a distance of 0 0.04. But we can, we can go ahead and get the 0 0.03 by 0 0.53 rectangle kind of figured out and, and build from there. I don't think it's going to make a big difference in the success or failure of the part. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Let me get a measurement before I do. Let's take a measurement of that, 0.522. All right. So that measurement's 0.522, and that says it's supposed to be 0.53. So that's about the same measurement. It's not that far off. We'll use that measurement, and we'll just make a rectangle on it that is uh, 0.03 up. Actually, we could probably just use a, a line, but we use a rectangle. It's a closed loop. Rectangle. Take the whole length of that and just press tab. And then the distance is supposed to be 0 0.03, right? 0 0.03. Okay, so that rectangle stays. And then above that, we're going to have to take off a good part of, of this object. So you look at this, we've got the rest of that taken off so that it looks like this curve is good. So we could get away with drawing another rectangle and starting it from our old one and ending it. I don't know why that's, yeah, there we go. Ending it right there. So this is the part we're going to extrude. Right click OK. And the depth that we extrude. I'm not sure it's showing us what depth we're supposed to go back. It's not, but I know it's greater than 0.47, and I know the distance from here to here is 0 0.5. Looking at this one, the depth right here. 0.5 from here to here. Let's see if we have any depth measurements here. It's not really showing any any measurements of depth for this measurement. So I'm just checking my uh, my plans to see if they have been created carefully, but uh, they didn't they didn't do a, a thorough job of getting the depth of this figured out. So we're gonna have to figure it out on our, on our own. My assumption here is that it's going to start from this rectangle and go back to that lip right there. And I know that it's greater than 0.47. Um, and so I'm going to estimate that 
and this is 0.97 from there to there. Um, I'm going to guess that it's probably 0.55. Just a guess. We'll see if it works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll adjust it. So I'm going to extrude that. And I'm going to click. Uh oh, yeah. You kind of got to get close to it and try to get that. Hmm. You notice how it's it's not allowing me to choose just the square. It's choosing both. Uh, it's trying to think for me again. So I got to train it. And the way I'm going to train it this time is I'm going to try to um, go in and trim. So that's in modify, in the sketch mode in modify, choose trim. And then just clean up this here and here. Whoops. Won't do that. Curve. Oh, there's a curve. Remove the image. Yeah. I got one done, so I think I'm good. Right click, uh, cancel. Then you can delete that bottom line. And maybe I can delete that line. See how it's choosing two lines. There are two overlapping lines there. There's two overlapping lines here as well. Delete one of those. Well, let's see if that's going to extrude now. Yeah, it'll extrude now. It just got a little confused. So what I say I was going to do that? I was going to do it 0.5. And we're going to do it the opposite way. And before I hit the extrude button, I want to make sure I'm going about the same depth as it was. Maybe 0.55. I think that was. That's pretty close. I think I'm going to extrude at 0.55. It's going to go further than this. This is at 0.47. So I think 0.55 is a good, a good number to start with. So we'll click check there. <coughs> All right, so we'll look at it from here, and we can see that now we've got that little lip right there. We need another one up here, so we'll just mirror it, just like we did before. And we'll do that by choosing a plane, click on the top, then rotate down, and click on the bottom, and you'll get a horizontal work plane. And you can use your pattern tool, and you can choose the feature that you just drew, and then you can go to Mirror and you can choose the mirror plane and then when you click OK it does the top side so that's really a cool feature that saves you a lot of time okay so now let's go back in and look at our uh, plan I may have to stop here and then start another one to show you how to get the details that are on this part and then we'll do a little filleting and we'll finish up the uh, the connector by changing the materials and those kinds of things in just a few minutes. So good luck on this part of the part. I know it's troubled, so rewind as often as you need to. And let's see if we can get this thing finished. Before I go, I'm going to turn the visibility off and save. Make sure you're saving frequently so that it doesn't crash. Anytime you have a green light here, uh, then that means your memory's pretty good. It's, it's in good shape. But the yellow uh, becomes a, an issue when you get complex parts like this. You start to get to yellow and then when you get to red, you're, you're assured that you're about to crash. So save frequently so you don't have that problem.